Hello guys and welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton once again I'm Greg and this is the starting 11 show off the back of a huge win against Brighton but now facing down a very very informed City team. Um, in terms of what's happened in the week injury wise no fresh concerns, we picked up no fresh concerns against Brighton so um, I'm very much of the mindset here um, if it's not broke don't fix it and, and carrying on pretty much as things were I um, I think there was a lot of things to be happy about in that in that Brighton game of course the big change going in there was the fact that uh, Garner seemed to have submitted his uh, or, or solidified his space in the starting team next to uh, Adrissa Gay and then of course Yeri Mina coming in for Michael Keane and I think attitude wise that had a huge impact because Yeri Mina is a commanding presence he is such a big personality and um, he's also a quality centre-back when he's fit. So um, I think those subtle tweaks made a huge, huge difference in how we play. Uh, and for that reason, I, I largely am just saying keep it the same. A few people might want us in a back five, something more defensive. Uh, perhaps we're best off here by trying to snatch a point uh, and, and getting ourselves a little bit above, you know, I think that goes three points above Leicester. Um, and, and maybe they're, then we're a little bit more safe, but goal difference-wise, that they're ahead of us anyway. Um, so I, I think I would just stick to our guns and keep this shape, keep keep this team. That's Pickford in goal, Patterson out on the right. Of course, Seamus Coleman's uh, out. Not as bad as we first thought, but he's certainly out. And um, I think Patterson's done a good job. Uh, Tarkovsky and Mina, I've already sung Mina's praises. I think he looked fantastic coming in for Michael Keane. Uh, Mikalenko on the left, who was at his best against Brighton, I think. We saw shades of, of what he could be and what, what he could do. Of course, a midfield of James Garner and Adrisa Gay. Questions over whether the Renana comes straight back in. Uh, I think for now, the uh, it's not a freeze-out, but just keeping him out of the team for a little while has been fine. I think, I think again, after Garner puts in a performance like he did against Brighton, to then drop him straight away would be both a confidence killer and unwarranted. Um... Decore in front of them, of course a key man on the Deitch now, we've looked so much better since his suspension's ended, you'd think maybe if he hadn't have got that suspension we, we would be a few more points to the good at the moment, um, out on the left the man of the moment Dwight McNeil, just looked excellent uh, defensively and in his attacking duties, um, that all round McNeil that we saw sometimes at Burnley under Deitch, uh, Awobi on the right hand side, just got his eighth assist of the season, I think, which is uh, a good creative output considering the numbers in our team. And Dominic Cabot Lewin up front, who will be a key player in this game as, as sort of everything in terms of our um, of our going going forward would rely on the role that DCL played against uh, against Brighton. Nothing too exciting in this video, guys. Just again to to restate, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I think we go with the exact same team: Pickford, Patterson, Tarkovsky, Mina, Mikalenko, Garner. Garner, Takore Iwobi, McNeil, and Cabot Lewin. I mean, weather the storm and aim for some plain sailing for the last two games. I think is 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 the prescription for the day. So hopefully we can you know if we can steal a point here, fantastic. If we can steal three, incredible. But the main goal I think will be making sure we don't lose too much of that goal difference bonus we have on Leeds. So hope for a result, and I will hopefully see you guys next time. Everton!